what you like about the sculpture. Definitely uh, the live music sequence when it's uh, seen at night, it gives me the feeling of a breathing bubble. It basically it feels like the bubble is really forming from the beginning. It's growing in and it's growing out. It really feels very much like that. I don't know if I'm the only person that is experiencing it visually um, to look at that breathing going on between the sculpture and the lighting. I'm curious to see if other people feel the same way, but that part really fascinates me. The interior of the piece uh, is something very, very special and dear for me because it's basically the heart that is pushing out all these new technologies out throughout the piece. And another is the shape, the, the fact that it's very uneven, and it reminds me the first time I walk on top of the old cycle. What would be your favorite spot for this to appear in, the kind of environment? Obviously we're in a museum here which is very architectural, but if you were to put this in any kind of site, where would you put it? Right here. Thank you. <laughs> I would too. Um, is there some, tell me something about the colors. I want to I wanna add uh, about that. I love uh, the glow that during the day uh, you see from the coming from back from the sculpture. I think it really is like if the sculpture is size specific to the location. That's very nice for me. And, and how do you determine what colors will work with this installation? Um, when I was uh, here, I, I felt that there were certain uh, colors that the area around were talking to me. One of them was the uh, golden, that is actually, in fact, the color of the reeds, of the Totoro reeds and the Orson. And I wanted to bring that more uh, up with the sequence, the golden part of it, which is actually the color of the reeds, the Totoro. So the, the bubbles themselves have um, something that looks like a texture on them. Can you explain that a little bit and how that relates to the reeds or if sure. it does? That, uh, it's actually the reeds are very long and vertical and the way they use it uh, is that way as well when they build their houses or anything um, like boats, watchtowers, or even the floor. So I wanted to bring that out. And of course, it's impossible to imitate nature. For me, nature is just perfect, either in the horse island or in uh, mountains or uh, the ocean. It's nothing that, as a human being, and I thought for myself, I could do better. I couldn't reciprocate that. And so I thought that, how do I come to bring that to the world? And I thought that since I use a lot of technology and I, I deal with pixels, it was a very good idea to bring that verticality back with the um, silver metal that indicates uh, stainless steel and it leads um, these other materials that I'm normally used to work with. And I think that you feel that, you know, throughout the piece. Mm -hmm. Why does it have a curve? Like, why does the form kind of go like that? Oh, I just, um, well, I just, I think it's very sexy, you know, and I did not want it to uh, do it uh, like the regular huts that they are in the woods, which they are a little more vertical. And I thought that if it has a little movement, it will uh, add a little touch to it. 